So you have a new motor for this next show. Uh, yes, and it's we all have, always sitting. We have one in the trailer ready to go. We just got to pop this one out, uh, throw the blower on the other motor, and it'll be uh, ready to go. Okay. So. Knock, knock. It's still huh. number five. <laughs> So how did you think the show went, Bill? Oh, it went good. We had a gremlins with a couple of trucks. We lost an input shaft on Skeletor. And then uh, old Dum Dum here kind of decided to do a knock-knock joke on the motor. Okay. <laughs> it I is what it is. We got another motor. For the next sunny show, uh, yep. sunny show coming up, I noticed the stands, well, the lights went out. They were packed. <laughs> yeah, the stands were packed. Yeah, I think uh, whatever he did for his marketing, he did a phenomenal. Oh, excuse me phenomenal job right right it uh you know and from what i saw it was kind of that old grassroots style i mean there were signs all over town i don't know if when you came in you could miss it he had signs on every building every corner every you know uh restaurant glass it was i, I thought it was actually he did a phenomenal job he said he had a couple of guys come out a couple of days or a couple of weeks before and just plastered the town with signs sweet yeah i i know it's looking on facebook state fair park and I had a few likes on it. I'm like, oh, maybe not too many people know about the show. Yep. Then, like you said, he did some old style pro yep. it, uh, promoting. So we got here on uh, on Friday. We did some more displays, and yeah. we got Rockstar, and we did the drag strip, and then we also did the um, uh, the parade this morning. But, okay. Uh, he said they sold like a hundred family pass tickets. Uh, just on Friday morning, so oh. I mean, obviously, as soon as the trucks got town, so I mean, that's why we give him trucks, is that way, you know, he can make money and he can do this. That way, he can, you know, afford to put on this and have a speedway and yeah, let us come race for him. Yeah. So, what do you feel like when you see the stands packed? I mean, how do you feel? Uh, it makes me feel good because I mean, it's that means you're here, you're out there running, you know, the nuts off your truck, and people are enjoying it. You know, it's right. You know, you always say it doesn't matter whether there's 10 people or 10,000 people in the stands, but sometimes you just, you get those butterflies when you got, you know, 3,000 people all screaming your name and, you know, they want more and more and it just makes you run that much harder. Yeah. So it You does. had an awesome freestyle, Thank too. You. I mean, yeah. It took me a little while, I thought, just to kind of get in the groove and figure out, you know, which jumps were, because everything changes. Yeah. You know, so it's... Yeah. The, after you get five other trucks or four other trucks to go out there, yeah, you know everything changes a little bit. So it, right. uh, you got to kind of jump everything, and once you kind of figure out each ramp, and then after that, then it's kind of game on. It looked like a more longer freestyle. Was it a, actually a longer freestyle? Than oh yeah, you know, well, I mean, just with Skeletor breaking the input right. shaft, and then with uh, identity theft blowing up the motor, it just then then we're down to a three truck freestyle, and there was three thousand people here, so it just they deserve to have. A long freestyle so i mean you yeah. seen california kid went out there and he laid down a long run and then you know beast mode went out there and he was out there for a while it just you know it's what if one truck falls down we pick up the pace i spoke to steve for a little bit right there he says he heard about you guys he saw you guys that probably warp on everything like that he says he like uh, to work with you guys and stuff it, uh, it actually started we did a show in port angeles washington he did um, say that. Yeah, and it was for one of the guys that works for him. He was running the track up there, and there was only 87 people in the stands. Okay. And we drove the nuts right. off of our trucks. It was just Rockstar and Kid. Okay. And, I mean, I think I broke a wheel off. I rolled over twice, you know, and Bert was like, Jesus, you're driving the heck out of your trucks. There's nobody here. Just take it easy. I'm like, yeah, okay. it doesn't matter. You know, it's so, and and that's why I always tell my guys, you drive, you know, whether there's 10 people or 10,000 because, he turned around and referred us to Steve, and Steve said, "Hey, we want to have a show in Skagit. Perfect. You know, it's that's what we want to hear is we want to be able to race around home. I hate having to go to Montana or to California. Yeah. I really hate going to California just because it's or really yeah, yeah, 55 miles an hour all the way down yeah. there. You got to go through that whole terrible state of Oregon that yeah. hates me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you always say you got a one-stop shop operation. I never knew you have Dominion." And uh, so, are you the minion? <laughs> I'm not revealing any <laughs> secrets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, they're fun. Yeah, yeah and, uh, right, And right. It, it threw Steve by surprise too, because he didn't know all of a sudden we were out there doing wheelies in a minion suit. Right. And he was like, oh my God, that's great. Yeah. Um, you know, it's actually, we stole them from Monster X Tour. They left them in my trailer. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use them until they take them. Yeah. So. Okay. But, <laughs> I might well, have to buy a couple of those, because they are fun. They get yeah. hot though. Oh yeah. I went out for a yeah. party and I was, you know, 
sign or not sign auger taking pictures of kids and i was sweating <laughs> yeah it's like oh my goodness well when i saw the minion while i walk out and i didn't see you and so i'm thinking well uh, it might be you for sure so yeah we did a good job thank you yeah with i minion. thought it was a good show yeah you know it uh, i'm glad because you know it's we did a knockout place you know job in, in skagit when we ran with him last year and then elma really was horrible you know the rain out the, rain, the mud yeah the, you know it's the track wasn't good it just we did a horrible job in elma you know i feel bad for the people in elma because they didn't get a, a good straight up racing show you okay know, it's, hopefully he'll you know try it again next year yeah and we get the weather you know cooperate so we can go out there and do a straight up racing kind of job yeah yeah so we did i think we did a phenomenal job here you know the track held up it's uh it's hard it's real sandy rocky dirt we're going to change some cars out tomorrow steep it up some of the ramps and yeah really the van didn't really get no damaged that well so yeah it looked like it's pretty you did a great job with the track too i mean with with the cars and w with the mounds i mean well, that's what i told you before yeah. i would rather build the track than versus yeah. you know hire somebody else to come and build the track you work for promoters and the guys that you know the dirt working guys they're just you know excavator operators or you know they they've never jumped a moss truck so they don't quite know what we need to be able to do a good wheelie contest you know and yeah. it, they they change from show to show you know one show they'll be perfect the next show you're like what just happened and yeah. the racing lanes were good you know that we were able to get good air they didn't tear up the trucks so yeah it's good well I wish you the best for Thank Sunday you. show. Are you um, not sticking around tomorrow? No, oh. no, we got to head back right now. But um, thank you for everything. And where are you guys out of? Like Puyallup area? Dome, near near the dome area. Mm, gotcha. Yeah. Well, good. So, so it's not we, too far. No. What, two hours? Yeah, in the air? yeah. We'll maybe, drive safe. Maybe a little bit more. But uh, yeah. Thank you, you for let everything. Are you going to him drive? No. Not yet? Yeah, he'll make me. Uh, you got your permit yet? Yeah. No. no, he's no. still young. How old yeah, are you? He's 13. 13. Oh, you know. 13. All right. A couple more years, you'll be working for me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, he's saying, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't want you coming out like the rest of these y'all who's out here. Huh? 